All right, here's what you do to make your bibliography with EasyBib. So first thing you want to do, you're on step five right now, bibliography of the sites you read and used, where you got your pictures, your photos, or ideas for your research. Now I'm going to get a link from my hydrodynamics challenge resource. Got the human impacts document right here. And if my topic had anything to do with plastics in the ocean, I might have used, under ocean issues, the plastic problem. So I'm going to click on the link here once this fully loads and go to that website. So that's the first thing you need to do. Have the website on a tab. All right, so this is what you need to know. Right down here is the title of this uh, article, Ocean Plastics Pollution. And it's got the information that you used if you read this one. Up here where it says Center for Biological Diversity, that's the publisher. We're going to need to know that later on. So let's uh, check out Easy Bib. I'm going to click on the link right here. While that's loading, I'm going to go over here and uh, click up here where the URL is and do Control C to copy. Control C on your keyboard. Now I've copied the URL, which is a fancy name for the link to that website. Now it says here, uh, check my paper or I only want to create citations. I'm going to click on I only want to create citations and he uh, chooses website as the first option. Well, that's exactly what I'm citing. So I'm going to click where it has a box for source, and I'm going to do Control-V to paste. Look at that. There's my URL. Click on Cite. We're gathering information now. And it says here, Ocean Plastics Pollution. Excellent. That is the correct website. So I'm going to click on the Cite button one more time. So here we go. Now, it says over here, here's what we'll need your help with. EasyBib can't find everything. Uh, sometimes because it doesn't know where to look. Sometimes because it's really not there. It's up to us to figure it out. It needs the publisher. Uh -huh. I saw that, so I know where that one is, and the date published. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and go to continue. you got to scroll down to find the continue button. And there's a lot of ads and things going on here, uh, so that's why I'm helping you with this video so you can focus on what you need. Okay, let's scroll down for what I'm citing. It also doesn't have author, so let's find this stuff. Here's where publisher sponsor goes. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get the publisher because I saw that very clearly, uh, so I know where it is. It was at the very top of the web page. Center for Biological Diversity. And if you can't copy it by highlighting it, you're just going to have to type it yourself and make sure you spell it right. Center for, what was it, biological diversity? Yeah, check the spelling. And then come on back for biological diversity. Now, let's see if we can find an author's name. Uh, there's no date or author's name here. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. Sometimes it's at the top, sometimes it's at the bottom. Oh, it says who made the banner photo. It's from NOAA. Then it's got the Center for Biological Diversity is a 501c3 registered charitable organization. But it's got no other information. By the way, 
there's no Creative Commons or public domain. So that means don't use pictures from here because uh, we need to see public domain or Creative Commons for sure. So I have no author. I have no date. So back at EasyBib where it says author name, leave it blank because they didn't put it. Electronically published, leave it blank. I don't know. So that's it. We're done. Isn't that easy? Complete citation. But, but there's more. Okay, we're not done yet. So now it's going to show me the citation in the correct format. My citation list. All right, here it is in this blue box. And when I hover my mouse over it, I've got two choices. Copy bibliography citation or copy in-text citation. I want the bibliography. I'm going to copy that one. And I'm done with this one. Close that. And then you're ready to go to your blog. So I'm going to click on edit here. This is my blog post, and uh, this should be at the very bottom. So after all the information you've typed, that's where you're going to add your bibliography. And I do want my readers to know that this is where my bibliography starts. So I'm going to type bibliography, and I'm going to make it just a little bigger. I'm going to make it a minor heading, maybe a little bit of subheading. Yeah. And then I'm going to click right under it and do Control V to paste. Now do one more step. This uh, URL here is not clickable, and that is annoying to your readers. So let's go back to the website and Control C up here. Make sure this is all highlighted. Control C to copy. Go back to your blog and highlight where it says www up until the end there and uh, see this link it says add or remove link click it there it is web address is the one you want so I'm gonna click right in here control V to paste look at that look at that and then make sure open this link in a new window is checked so that people who check out your websites don't leave your blog you don't want them to go away you want to keep them. And then, okay, look, what, look, look how great that looks. This is a accurate bibliography citation. Then I'm going to do return because I have to do all the websites. So you're going to go back here. I can close this one now. And uh, if I did one on garbage patches, I'm going to go to the next website. And... Once you do this two or three times, you're going to get much faster because you're going to really know it. I'm going to highlight up here the URL link, control C to copy. Now we go back to easy bib and we need to make a, another one. So let's see. And I, and I don't need to export or save this. So I'm going to go, let's see here. Got to find out how to make another citation. Oh, here it is right there, right in front of my face. Create a new citation. And then you repeat the process all over again. And that is how you make a citation.